On the evening of December 21st, 2016, Mr. Santa Nicholas Claus was found dead in his home. Police officers arriving on the scene noted that the air in his apartment was very, to say the least, jolly. When inspecting the body of Mr. Claus, detectives noted of high gingerbread activity in his blood. This meant, to say the least, that Mr. Claus may have been murdered. That's right. We've got a case of ho-ho homicide. Now that Santa is dead, this brings up several new issues that need to be taken into account, such as who the new Santa will even be. Here's our reporter Linda on scene. Thanks, Elmer. I'm here live reporting at the North Pole, where people have come from far and wide to try out for the role of Santa. Let's listen in on some of the ongoing interviews. So, what makes you believe that you're qualified to play the role of Santa Claus? Well, I got all those special qualities, you know? I got the beard, you know? Alright, what makes you believe that you're qualified to play the role of Santa Claus? Hey guys, it's Randy Elock here and... Out. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. Alright, next on the list is... Breaking news! Doctors have woken Mr. Claus up for what seems to be a near-death experience. Mr. Claus has no memories of what has happened over the past few days, and has taken a screaming Christmas at the top of his lungs for no particular reason. So to say the least, Mr. Claus's life is back on. But that leaves us with one last question. Who tried to do away with jolly old Saint Nicholas? Alright, what makes you qualified to be Santa Claus? Wait, what? You're under arrest for the attempt to murder Santa Claus. You know you're the mastermind. Run, run, Rudolph. Run, Rudolph. Run, Rudolph. Run, Rudolph. I got him, guys. I got him. So there you have it. The day was saved again. See you next time. And Merry Christmas. Oh, crap. I broke my candy cane.